What's up guys, how are y'all doing? Mr. Wicked Shot back here again with another reaction video. Possible the last one of the series. It's been pretty brutal for me to um, get myself to watching all these um, these type of stuff. It's easier watching it in the movies because you know it's not real, but seeing people lose their life in real life is, is a bit tougher to take. But you know, um, if you guys enjoy, I might come back with a different one um or i'll go for something else so today for the final one that we'll be taking a look at is another terrible scenario of someone um complying with uh officer's requests and still didn't make it out of it alive and um to keep that message going that our lives do indeed matter whether you know you people on the left don't want to hear it or not they matter you know and we're putting a light to those people that their stories aren't being talked about enough and nobody's protesting for them and talking about them so i'll do whatever i like can. um for those um you know white brothers and sisters that's been standing with me and my black brothers and sisters in our struggle and helping us I'll, you know, do what I can as well to bring the light to their injustice that they have also received by the hands of cops. Um, so let's uh, take a look at this one here, which is um, caution in mind. It's going to be hard to watch, but another situation where, you know, the guy's following the cops instruction and, you know, his wife made it pass and he didn't get to unarmed. So, you know, let's see how it plays out. All right. We're back now with a shocking and deadly police shooting caught on body cam. The video released just hours after a jury found the former officer involved not guilty for fatally shooting an unarmed father in an Arizona hotel last year. NBC's Morgan Radford has details and a note some may find these images disturbing. You do that again, we're shooting you. Do you understand? For several minutes, 26-year-old Daniel Shaver crawled, cried, and begged for his life. Please do not shoot me. Then listen to my instructions. Body cam video shows the moment Shaver, unarmed, was shot and killed by police. Crawl towards me. Crawl towards me. <laughs> Don't go. The incident happened in a Mesa, Arizona hotel in January 2016. But police released the footage Thursday, just hours after the officer who shot him was found not guilty of second degree murder and reckless manslaughter. Second degree murder, not guilty. Police had responded to reports of a man pointing a rifle out a window. Clear. But the police body cam footage shows the moment Shaver's hand moves here, seemingly toward his waist. Former officer Philip Brailsford told jurors he thought the father of two was reaching for a gun. When movements were made that are consistent with drawing a weapon, you have one second to make up your mind. Shaver did not have a gun on him. He was intoxicated and did have a pellet gun in his hotel room related to his pest control job. Shaver's widow now has a $75 million wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Mesa and the police after losing the man she calls the love of her life. He was my husband and my kid's father. And now all that's left of him is this. Morgan Radford, NBC News. Yeah. No matter how many times you see these events, it's like harder and harder to, to, to digest, but it drives the message home and it's important for you to like, you know, listen and watch you know, why the message of our life matter is not racist. And it doesn't mean they're seeing your life don't matter. Um, they're just trying to, you know, speak up for those that message are not being told and let you understand that, yeah, all of us are getting, you know, brutalized by cops and, you know, we agree with you and we are with you for change. And, you know, you know, nobody else was speaking up at the time anyway and demanding justice as much as, um, you know the the black people are doing and you no know, because of that everybody are now taking um attention to other class of life that has been under brutal and of cop interaction so yeah that's all i'm trying to do is just like put you know other people stories out there that you know no one has been really aware of the situation or that it's as bad as this where 
it's not like what the media wants you to believe that yeah cops just going after african americans and just trying to kill you just for any any reason and that that narrative of if you just listen you'll live and that also the other narrative of that if you're white you're nine times you know you're you're hardly likely to get killed by the cops unless you literally attack them or you know do something to make them kill you aggressively you know you've heard of those many situations myself i've heard them and joke about them a lot of time where you know white people can do whatever they want and get away with it you know they can walk the street with a gun and more than likely cop won't shoot them for it you know there's instances where a cop of um you know arrested known murderers that just went on mass shooting and stuff and arrested them and just treating them like they're just old pals from way back when you know and you'll come up against a black guy that you know doesn't seem threatened by the nearest you know degree and they'll treat him as if he just blew you know blow up twin towers or something like that you know it's so i still see a lot of those so i know there's still a very you know heavy reaction towards black individual when you know they're interacted with but it's still important to put message out there that nobody is immune to the evil thugs walking the earth like these, you know, thin blue line gang members, because uh, that's what they are. And um, the ones that at least commit acts like those, and it doesn't matter, you know, what you look like, if they really want to get you, they're going to get you. So we just have to get proper policing, proper protocols in that deters them because the system is just helping them right now and making it easy for them to get off scratch free with these, you know, um, um, what's that thing called, you know, that um, protects them from qualified immunity, you know, qualified immunity, we need to do away with that because it, you know, removes liability from officers from feeling that did any wrong and, and make them whole be held accountable for bad action. So um, let's continue the fight and um, just continue being good and 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 listen and can and um, consider it to, you know, your fellow um, brother and sister. You know, so you know we're all human and we all have to show compassion at some point in time and be understanding. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, possibly the last one in the series. If you guys enjoyed or want me to do any other reaction or you know discussion type videos, just let me know. In the comments below but you know that's it for me today so you know mr wicked shot signing off and you guys have a good rest of your time and be safe peace